Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're comparing the Brooks Catamount versus the Nike Pegasus Trail 2. Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome back to 40 Runs. Now, if this is your first time at 40 Runs, I want you to smash that pink button down there that says subscribe on it. Go to our Facebook page and join the 40 Runs running community and check out the description. There's loads of cool things. You can link to both of these shoes. Now, I thought this would be a cool one to do. Uh, because I think actually, despite this being a more hardcore trail shoe, you can definitely use both of these shoes for sort of road to trail. So I thought it'd be cool to compare them. So let's get stuck in. Right guys, I thought this would be a cool one to do, the Brooks Catamount and the Pegasus Trail 2. Now, I wear this shoe uh, predominantly from road to trail, and I've been actually wearing this from road to trail. We want to get into some of the stats and some of the features before we get into um, which one's best. Now, let's start with the Catamount. This shoe's 125 pounds here in the UK. It weighs just over 10 and a half ounces. You've got this DNA flash in the midsole, which has come over from the Hyperion Tempo, which is kind of, it's like road going brother. You've got, um, what is it, 26 mil in stack height in the heel, so six mil drop because it's 20 in the forefoot. You've got a nice light mesh upper uh, with um, these overlays around the toe and the sides. You've got a rock plate going underneath it, uh, rock protection kick plate to protect you as well. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, that's that. So that's like I say, the kind of um, trail brother to the Hyperion Tempo. Then we've got the Pegasus Trail 2, uh, which is a total redesign from Nike from its 36 um, trail shoe. It is fat, it's 11.6 something ounces. Uh, it's got a full length React foam midsole. Uh, they've mucked about with the outsole uh, and they've made the lug sort of wider, uh, but bigger. You've got this neoprene element in the upper, which has got loads of perforations in there to sort of get rid of some of the water. Uh, they made it nice and breathable. And that's about it really. And I still think this looks awesome. So now, like I said at the start, I wanted to compare these two because I've been wearing both of these from road to trail. And now I was living in this one uh, from uh, going from road to trail, but then this came out and I've really been digging this. Now you might not like the white upper, right? You might think it's nuts for a white trail shoe. And I totally understand that. And this is held up well. Um, I've dusted them off for today to make it a little bit more viewable for you. but. They do, they do collect dust, there's no two ways about it, and the white upper is gonna annoy the hell out of you. Um, but actually, the, the whole Brooks thing about this is the fact that they want these to be seen to be lived in and, and tell a story and all this sort of stuff, which is kind of cool, but yeah, white trail shoe is not the smartest thing in the world, especially at 125 pounds. But if you put all that to one side, this shoe is awesome. What I love about this shoe is the speed at which you can carry through those sort of road to trail transitions you can sort of just go and go and go because you've got the, the, the DNA flash midsole from the Hyperion uh, Tempo. It just feels a lot lighter than this and it's just egging you on the whole way around the trails. Now my trails aren't technical in any way, shape or form, um, but they do get a little bit lumpy in places and I feel like I can carry the speed through. Now this shoe is no slow coach, right? I've done some reasonable pace in this shoe and, it, and it, it's, like, what was it, a good example. I did a 5K, in about 23 minutes, which is, you know, you know, not hanging around. Uh, and it was up and down and it was, you know, loose underfoot and stuff like that. And this shoe coped with that very well. And it was warm that day, it was 34 degrees and the breathability was awesome. But it just feels like a lot of shoe compared to this. When you are going along from road to trail and then trail to road in this, it, it just feels like a racing shoe compared to this. And, with, and that's awesome. And it just feels great that that DNA flash midsole it's so snappy, it's no, I don't know, as I say, it just wants to give you a kick up the butt to get you to go faster. Um, and then as I say, you come into those sort of more technical bits and it's there and it gives you the confidence to go through them at pace. So for me, out of the two, I would go for the Catamount, despite it being white and despite it being more expensive than this. This is great as an all rounder, yeah? If you're new to trail running and you want something that's gonna take you a little bit off road and, and do all the little bits that you wanna do, then the Pegasus Trail 2 is awesome and they've got some wicked colorways in this shoe. But I think this, if you're like me and you're always trying to go faster and faster and faster and just run like a maniac, then this is awesome. So check it out, it's not for everyone, but I think the Brooks Catamount is a really, really good sort of road to trail shoe as well as a trail shoe.